it all started five years ago um, over at the Village Hall. It was um, essentially a village fete, uh, and I, at the time I was playing in a band, so um, I decided maybe my band could play at this event and maybe I could get a few others. So we got a little tent together, got my PA out of the garage, um, set it up, three bands played, everyone loved it. There was 290 odd people, I think, turn up. And then next year I was like, yeah, I'm doing it again. It's, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was a good afternoon, so uh, we did it again, and there was like 400 people. And then I hired a stage, proper stage, got my brother to come, come down with his, his sound and lighting equipment. We put it on again the year after in 2013. Um, I think we had about 680 through the door and it was just growing and growing, but we outgrew the venue. So I had a word with Katrina, the head teacher here at the school, um, and asked her if we could use um, the field. Uh, we put it on in 2014, it was an absolute massive success. Uh, we had 1,800 people through the, through the day. Um, everybody loved it. You know, we've got uh, just under two and a half thousand people here today, all having fun, rocking out to some local bands. So um, it's all in aid. Uh, it's all for charity. Three charities. Um, the first one is Demelza House, which is a children's hospice locally um, in the area. And then we've got uh, the Irate Herons. They're a football club local to the the village. And then we've got the school. We we give a little bit back to the school just because we use their their facilities. There's plenty of farms in the local area, so uh, <laughs> there's always opportunity to go and speak to some local landowners. We could make it a two-day event, we could do a bit of car parking, a bit of camping, fun fair. Um, it all takes massive planning, um, which I don't mind doing, but it does take a lot of my year up. Um, but I love it, just to see the faces, you know, on all the... Everyone that's in the field is, you know, it's fantastic, so... Um, so yeah, that's where we're at, that's what we're doing, and that's hopefully where we're going to take it, so... Everyone's behaved themselves. There's, there's never any hassle here, never any trouble. You know, it's families coming out, enjoying the sun, and the weather's been fantastic on our side today. So, you know, it's win, win, win all round, really. Yeah, I'd like to thank all of Team Tango, uh, the guys on the stage, the guys that are just hanging about by the gate for hours on end letting people in. Um, uh, my other half that has helped me this year with the marketing, she's got um, about four and a half thousand pounds of a sponsorship, which is, is massive um, help for the event. Um, it, my brother supplying the sound uh, and the lighting um, and just everybody really that's inputted in, 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 the, in the day. I mean, everyone that wears an orange t-shirt has earned it today. The plan for next year is we've got a new facility for the i Red Herons just at the top of the road of School Lane. Uh, it's about twice the size of the venue that we got here. So uh, that's the plan for next year, but just watch this space really. <laughs> <laughs>